Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part number five, UCB Backlash 2024. By God Almighty, this episode you don't want to sleep on. This is a fantastic group of participants in a 10-man gauntlet match. We start with Kofi Kingston. We go all the way to number 10, and it is a slobber knocker. Absolutely incredible eliminations from some participants. And uh, I gotta say, it's pretty fantastic. We're crowning the World Heavyweight Champion on tonight's episode, the conclusion to Backlash, the main event. And after this, we're getting into our weekly episodes of SmackDown. And it's gonna be amazing going from here. I can tell you from stuff that I've already seen. All right, enough of me. Roll the intro. It's a gauntlet match. All right. Samantha didn't say it, but this is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Ten men enter, and one will leave World Champ. Starting things off. I didn't think he'd be the first one out. I knew he was going to be in this match. But the general manager. General manager decides to put Kofi in at number one. Can he stand the test and make it all the way to be the winner? Multiple legends, multiple familiar faces all coming up in this match right now. Oh my god. At number two. A familiar face indeed. As we get the leader of the bloodline. None other than the tribal chief himself. Roman Reigns. Ladies and gentlemen, Acknowledge him. From Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds. That guy is into it.
Dolph Gangston straight out of the gate taking on Roman. Knocks him down. Beautiful drop kick off the springboard. Let's see if Kofi has what it takes to take down the tribal chief, the big dog. No one told him. No one tell Roman that I called him that, please. Both Kingston in complete control of this match to start it off. Kofi had gone for the pin attempt early on, but unfortunately, Roman was able to overpower him before the one count and now is taking control of this match. Oh, never mind. Kofi getting hyped up after he managed to recover from what was looking like a pretty devastating opportunity for Roman Reigns to come back in this match. Reigns now laying down fists. It's Kofi Kingston. Getting absolutely pummeled right now. Locked in a headlock. Kofi fights his way out. Chops, kicks. And a running kick to follow it up as Roman rolls out the ring to reset himself. Whoa! Over the top rope as he salutes the camera. Incredible performance by Kofi Kingston right now. Roman set back inside the ring. Kofi Kingston in control. New day indeed. Boom drop reverse. Roman Reigns rolls out of the way and Kofi lands on his tailbone. Roman now locking up. Irish whip into the ropes. Superman punch from Roman Reigns. But that's not it. He's not done. As a spear to Kofi Kingston and Kofi's attempt for the world championship might be sealed with that one, folks. As Kofi has been eliminated by Roman Reigns. <clears throat> Who is coming up next? There's your legend, folks. As Batista makes his way to the ring. Roman not wasting any time. They're running clothesline to start. Is Batista now? No, reversed DDT to Batista. Former world champion of his own right. Of course, the last world champion for UCB was The Undertaker after he defeated Samoa Joe in a title unification match at UCB Mania 3. Disappearing the end of the show leaving just the title belt in the middle of the ring. And, oh my God, what is this from Batista? Over the top rope, clothesline as Roman eats the mat. But that championship belt left behind by The Undertaker. And our general manager has decided the 10 men get the opportunity to fight for that tonight. And so far we have seen Kofi Kingston eliminated by Roman Reigns. Batista was the third man out. Who is going to walk away with the World Championship this evening? Roman Reigns with a backdrop on the apron. Thankfully not on the display unit, as that would be very painful. Batista back from... I guess filming another movie. Coming back to put a little bit of time in a UCB ring. Big slam there from Roman as this match is taking it to the outside. 
Referee doesn't appear to be counting though, so I don't know if there are countouts involved on this one. Big punch. Roman takes down Batista, goes for the pin. That's not enough to take down the legend of Batista. Nice rolling powerbomb there from Roman Reigns. Irish whip into the ropes, picks him up, slams him down. Just a reminder, this is a 10-man gauntlet match. Roman has already eliminated the first entrant of Kofi Kingston. And we are looking at entrant number three of Batista. That kick to the knee. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, leaping guillotine. Batista might be done here, folks, as Roman Reigns is trying to tap him out. No. Batista powers through it. Spear out of nowhere from Roman. Kick out at two from Batista. Near fall from that spear. Oh my god, I'm on the edge of my seat. We're only... Three people in out of the ten. Roman went for that backdrop again, but Batista, aware of it this time, knocks Roman down to the floor. Irish whips back into the ring. Collar and elbow tie up as. Oh my god, Batista hung up on the ropes as Roman overpowers him. Landing a flurry of blows on the forehead of Batista, now wrenching on the neck. Maybe potentially thinking about doing that guillotine one more time. Backs the blows to the face. Kicks to the stomach. Batista training in the art of jujitsu in his spare time is not enough, however, to take down the big dog Roman Reigns. It looks like he might be going for it. He's going for that spear once again. This is how he took out Kofi Kingston to begin with. Batista might be out as Roman has eliminated Batista. Roman Reigns, two eliminations, as our next opponent is Finn Balor. Roman Reigns feel, looks like he's offended that Finn Balor is the next one to come out here. As the match gets underway, a flying forearm from Finn wanting to prove his merit against Roman Reigns former ministry member with The Undertaker the former world champion and well Roman probably got something to prove as he has a running clothesline while Finn taunts now it's Roman's turn to taunt to the crowd inverted leg sweep Roman's gotta refresh himself however Balor says otherwise and misses with that uh, Suicida. Irish whip over to the corner. Finn Balor looking good, however, taken down with a swift right hook. Two swift right hooks from Roman Reigns. Uh, slamming his head into the mat on the concrete outside. Just absolutely beating Finn Balor senseless. Grabs him by the neck, brings him back to the ring, throws him in. Roman knows he can only win this on the inside. Collar and elbow tie up. This time Finn Balor takes the lead. Sling blade from Balor. Oh my god.
Wrenching on the nose, I believe. Could Balor be the one to end this canning streak of Roman Reigns, or is Roman Reigns going to take the whole thing from second to the end? One of the original two members that started this match with Kofi Kingston eliminated both Kofi and Batista, and now he's one-on-one -on -one with Finn Balor, who kips up right into a guillotine choke. And just to flip his way out of that. And a spear from Roman. As this might be it, folks. One, two. Kick out of two. Not enough. First spear. It took two spears to take out Batista. Looks like it might also take two to take out Finn Balor. Unless Finn Balor can take the, 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 the tribal chief down off his off his pedestal maybe the judgment day are going to stand tall at the end of tonight oh my god swings for that clothesline but misses wildly Ale kick from valor roman is shook here into the cross face is it enough no roman powers out kick to the gut Irish whip, shoulder tackle, hangs onto him. Roman standing in the corner, big clothesline. He's looking tired here, folks. Now stomping the hand of Finn Balor. Picking him up for a deadlift powerbomb, down he goes. By God. Roman now to the top rope. We don't see this very often. Big elbow drop on the Balor. To the gut. Snap DDT. DDT with purpose right there. As Roman kicks him in the side of the head. And looks like he's calling for it. Superman punch to Balor. Goes for the pin, but that's a rope break. The third elimination for Roman Reigns as Finn Balor is eliminated. And coming up next, we've got the winner of the UCB Mania 3, Andre the Giant Battle Royal. Tyler Bates, the big strong boy. Making his way to the ring. However, we've got a charged up Roman Reigns right now with all eliminations in this match. Irish whip into the rope spear. To go for the pin. One, two, the kick out of two. Oh my god, I thought Tyler Bate was going to get eliminated within seconds of starting this match. Into the rope, spear again! My god! One, two, three. Tyler Bate comes in and goes out just as fast. Incredible performance from Roman Reigns right now as his former tag team partner Seth Rollins makes his way out next Seth freaking Rollins Roman Reigns is set have what it takes to take down the tribal chief as this man has ran rough shot over this gauntlet match eliminating the likes of Kofi Kingston Batista Finn Balor, Tyler Bates, you name it. Seth Rollins, however, in here with purpose to start this off. He might have what it takes to take down the Tribal Chief in for the crossface once again.
Roman breaks free, big kick to the gut, collar and elbow. Samoan drop incoming. No, reversed by Seth Rollins. Irish whip to the corner, knee to the chin. Roman's gotta be tired at this point. Big elbow drop. Incredible maneuvers from Seth Rollins. Ripcord knee after that tope over the top rope. Another ripcord knee following it up. Roman might be down and out after this one, folks. This might be the one to take out Roman Reigns in this match. And we've still got, I believe, three, maybe four entrants to go after Seth Rollins. I don't know if Roman has what it takes to get through all ten. Big reversal from Roman as he blocks it. There's that Samoan drop he tried to do in the ring after a flurry of blows. Back in the ring goes Rollins. Roman now immediately going for the pin. Kicks out before the count of one. Irish whip now to Roman and off the ropes. Leapfrogging. Reversed from Reigns. Another Samoan drop, perhaps? No, just knocks him out with a left hook. Count of two. Irish whip into the ropes. Drops down. Superman punch from Reigns. Oh my god, he might actually be able to do it as he takes down Rain Rollins. Sorry. Count of two kicks out at two and a half. Roman knows what he needs to do to put down Seth Rollins, and it's a lot more than a Superman punch. He's going to need to spear him into next week. However, Rollins with the spear of his own. Knocking Reigns to the outside top rope. And a flying cross. Clothesline, sorry, from the top rope to the outside. What a main event we have right now. Oh my god, Seth going for the pedigree on the outside. And he hits it. Reigns is down. This could be the end of Roman Reigns' run in this match. Throwing Reigns back in, going for the curb stomp right now. Hits it. Is it enough to take down Reigns? Is it enough? One, two. Roman Reigns kicks out of two. However, Rollins isn't done. Second stomp. Reigns, one, two. Three reigns is out of here as Rollins eliminates the most dominant force in this match so far as LA Knight yeah comes out next. Rollins looks like he is entertaining the thought. Taking on LA Knight here tonight as Reigns limps his way back to the locker room. However, I am sure. That this is not going to be the end of Rollins and Reigns. Nice slam there from LA Knight. Very important for me to mention as well, Seth Rollins, also former member of the Ministry with The Undertaker, Roman Reigns and himself last series. Very interesting that Seth is the one to have taken out Roman Reigns here as this could lead to a bitter, bitter rivalry between the two. LA Knight with the moves right now. He is looking to claim 
his first ever world championship. And that being said, so is Seth Rollins. Only attempt a championship gold they at that they had as the ministry was a tag team championship match against Breezango, in which they lost. Has never held championship gold in UCB history. Reigns, on the other hand, I believe was the world champion for SmackDown at one point in time. Uh, I am mistaken, however, as he was has never held a championship either. Incredible. Big spear in the corner from Rollins off the top rope down knee to the face of LA Knight. Yeah. As he goes to the top, is he thinking Frog Splash here? He was thinking Frog Splash in for the pin. LA Knight down and out to kicks out of two. Big forearm there. Seth Rollins, to LA Knight. Rollins goes to the corner. What's he thinking here? Runs in for another one of those spears to the corner. Doesn't elect for the springboard this time, but he set himself up for LA Knight to take advantage. Leapfrog. Big slam there. Is LA Knight gonna upset the upsetter? As Rollins, the man who eliminated Reigns, can LA Knight Take that to the next level and eliminate Rollins. Irish whip to the corner, European uppercut. Rollins back to his feet immediately up on the shoulder. Snake eyes. And a watch out to follow it up. Big flurry of blows here in the corner. What's LA Knight trying to get Rollins? It looks like into the corner for something. But Rollins instead, the man to do so as he hangs him in the tree of woe. Oh, big reversal from Knight though. Throwing those quick jabs. Net jawbreaker from Rollins. Clothesline from Knight as he returns the favor. LA Knight, big elbow drop. He's looking to put Reigns down here. I'm sorry, Rollins. Reigns went on such a dominant tear. Another big elbow drop. Reigns went on such a big tear there. He's, I've got him stuck in my head as we got the finish. The rope break, though. Referee cheating LA Knight out of this win here. LA Knight says we're going to do it again. Rope break again. Got to learn from your mistakes here, Knight. Rollins playing possum. Kicks him in the head. LA Knight getting robbed of his victory here as Rollins hits the pedigree. But not enough energy to capitalize. Both men down and out. Rollins struggling to get back to his feet here. I can't believe LA Knight hit the finish twice only to be hit with a rope break. This rep is calling selective rope breaks tonight. And LA Knight eliminated by Rollins. He's gonna not like that. Oh my. Here's that other legend that we were told about by the general manager, Shawn Michaels, the heartbreak kid makes his way to the ring, coming out of retirement as he gets stomped by Rollins immediately. That's a rope break, Rollins. Kicks out a one from there. That's good. Yeah. 
into the claw into the corner beard of the stomach down goes Sean Michaels the legend the heartbreak kid we are down to the final two after or I'm sorry the final four if you include Seth here as a package driver Don Michaels with the kip up flurry of strikes and an elbow to the back of the neck big clothesline in the corner Shawn Michaels what's he thinking Springboard from Shawn Michaels at his age is incredible. Stomps down on Seth to the top. Leap of faith, elbow drop, no sir. Rollins out of the way, super kick. Super kick to Shawn Michaels. Of all the people to drop that move on, you're going to drop it on the V Shawn Michaels. The legend, the man who created the best super kick on the planet as Seth hits Shawn Michaels with his best friend's move, the pedigree. By God, Rollins is on a tear here. Reigns dominated the first half. Rollins dominates the second half, but his next opponent is none other than Cody Rhodes. This man will not be denied his story as he is in here for his attempt to win the World Heavyweight Championship. Does Cody Rhodes have what it takes to take down? As he goes for the vertebraker right away, Rollins is not in good shape. He's been, he's taken a beating. And Cody eliminates Seth with a single move. Oh my God, we are down to the final two in the... J B L John Bradshaw Layfield versus Cody Rhodes. Does one of these two men is going to become the world heavyweight champion? Who's it gonna be? Both of these men are fresh. Cody not taking a lick of damage as he eliminated Rollins immediately. JBL fresh into this match. Figure four. Right next to the ropes. Come on, ref. You call them rope breaks for worse things. This is going to come down to JBL. Cody Rhodes. No love lost here. I'm sure is JBL. Power slam. Hits a big power slam on Cody. JBL taking control here. Side slam coming up. Cody back to his feet. Gets hit with a clothesline. JBL to the top rope. Double axe handle coming down hard on Cody's head. The Undertaker relinquished his championship for one of these two men to become the world heavyweight champion. The inaugural Series 4 heavyweight champion. Big elbow to the chin. JBL with the snap suplex. Known for hitting a devastating clothesline. That's his finish. Good man. Again, snap suplex on the outside. Cody looks like he tweaked his leg a little bit there. Headbutt from JBL. JBL is in control of this one right now. Irish whip into the announce table. Oh, went for a big boot, but came up a little short. Cody whip back in the ring. JBL with another headbutt. Deadlift power slam coming up. Boom, in the middle of the ring. Does he go for the pin? No, Cody kips up immediately. Disaster kick from Cody Rhodes. 
Puts him in for the figure four, but again, in the ropes, the ref has got to call this. No, JBL just immediately powers out. Oh my god, chop block to the front of the knee. That's got to hurt. Irish whip. Bradshaw attempts something, but Cody powers his way out of it. Irish whip for Cody. Drops down. Is he going to hit him with that power slam of his own? Shades of gold dust. JBL getting back to his feet. Slap to the face. Cody Rhodes will not be denied his world championship. Crossroads! JBL's down in the middle of the ring. Is this enough to put him away? One, two. Kicks out at two. JBL's not going down that easily. Back to his feet. Immediately blocks that strike. Collar and elbow. Double. Straight jack and DDT. I think that's what that was. So Cody's taking a minute to rest. Goes for this figure four leg lock once again. Does JBL have what it takes to power out of it this time? No. Yes, he does. Reverses the pressure and makes the pain back towards Cody's knee instead. Now picks him up. Guillotines him on the top rope. Kick to the spine from JBL. What is JBL thinking here? In the corner, stomping away. Cody, though, ready for it. Right hook. And now going for some open palm slaps to the chest. Overhead chops. Now JBL to the outside. Rhodes with the spear knocking JBL to the ground. Can't win this match on the outside, Cody. You will not become world champion on the outside of the ring as he throws him back in. Surely he's got to be trying to put this away. Rhodes picking up JBL. Down again the fifth time with this leg lock. Is he going to tap out JBL here? No. You think he'd learn by now that he can't win. He will not win with this move. JBL misses with that big boot. Sid grabs with a rear waist lock, forearm to the chest. Power slam. He says, you can do that. I can do that too. Oh my God. Is he going for the Bradshaw special? The power bomb. One, two. Cody's story almost over, folks, as Bradshaw hits him with a devastating powerbomb. Irish whip into the ropes. Bradshaw went for the clothesline from hell, but it came up short. Old dog from Cody. He's going for this leg lock again. You'd think he'd learn. He has still not learned. This match turned out so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. Up for a backbreaker! My god, JBL is going to tear him apart. He's going something here. He's throwing him in the corner. Snake Eyes attempts. Probably, yes. DDT from Bradshaw. He went for the pin. Uh, uh, another nonsense rope break. There are people that have been pinned under the ropes. And this ref is just not calling it. I mean, Irish whip. Close line from hell! With a rope break. Ref, he was not in the ropes. JBL might have been screwed out of an opportunity there. Cody with the pedigree on the outside, though. 
JBL should probably be your world heavyweight champion right now. And if Cody wins this, you know JBL is going to come knocking for that rematch. Cody with the pedigree, you know, that means he's trying to set up for that crossroads. Disaster kick. And he's calling JBL to his feet. He's going for it. Crossroads in for the pin. One, two, we have your new champion. No, we don't. This JBL kicks out at two. And Cody decides it's time to do push-ups. I don't know if that arrogance is the right move, Cody Rhodes. As that may be the seed of your downfall as JBL climbs to the ropes. Cody tangling him up in the ropes here. Going for another crossroads attempt. This might be it. But that's a rope break. According to the ref, that would have been a rope break any other time. One, two, three, new champion. Finishing his story and becoming the world heavyweight champion. Cody Rhodes. This man has been pushing. This is his debut technically for UCB. And he is now the world champion.